We are all gathered in the, the back, I suppose, yes, of the, the house where Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe was kept uh, for a period of time on Robben Island in solitary confinement, deemed very, very dangerous by the apartheid government for his thoughts and ideas. Um, and to speak to us a bit more about uh, the, their forebear is the PAC president, uh, Mzwanele Nyonso. Uh, Mr. Nyonso, thank you so very much for your time. Um, let's get straight into it. For the PAC, what does it mean to be standing here today? Thanks for having us and greetings to your viewers. It means a lot. It means a lot to the PC, it means a lot to the Sobukwe family, the trust of course I believe, and also the muse, to the museum. But as PAC we are here to make sure that, that we preserve Sobukwe's legacy. We are also here to make sure that we guard against any move to separate Sobukwe from the PAC. There is no Sobukwe without PAC. So we're here to make sure that PAC is not snubbed, PAC, Sobukwe is not separated from us because we are his disciples. We are carrying where we left off. So it means a lot to us. That which he believed in, what do you believe in South Africa uh, should be done today to emulate his example? In fact, everything Sobukwe stood for in his PAC is still relevant as it was in 1959. As, as, as Uncle Joe Tlaw said uh, here, that, that if we can imagine this country with Sobukwe's teachings, we would be far by now. Now, if Sobukwe's teachings of Africanism were implemented in 1994, today we would be talking a different story. If Sobukwe's teaching of non-racialism were implemented in 1994, today we would not be having two separate people in one country, whites and blacks, we would be having human beings as Sobukwe would teach. So, so, so that's what Sobukwe stood for and that's what this country was supposed to be. And if you look at how dangerous the apartheid government deemed Robert Sobukwe and his teachings, um, it, it speaks to a lot about the, the power that he held. Yes, yes, he had a lot of power. I'm not sure about the word dangerous. According to them, he was dangerous. Yes. And according to us, he was a liberator. Yes. He, was, he, he, was, he was powerful. Even Foster said he has a divine, a divine sense of mission. And that's the reason why the, the, the man was taken here. Because according to him, he was going to be kept here until this side of eternity. Because he did not want him to talk to the African people. Interestingly, dangerous as he was deemed to be by apartheid rulers. The very same African government of the ANC is still persecuting Sobukwe in his grave. Where is Sobukwe's recordings? Where are they keeping them? Why are they not even doing anything about Sobukwe? We were in Khrafrenet uh, in February. The grave of Sobukwe was vandalized more than seven times. Now, it means this man was feared in life He's still feared in death. He was persecuted by apartheid rulers. He's still persecuted by the majority government of the Africans. That's an irony. What, what do you hope of this dedication by Robben Island Museum for this year and next year of Robert Sibukwe? What do you think it would, would mean? And would it help to raise the profile once more of Robert Sibukwe and that which he stood for. Yes, it will, and it must raise, raise the profile. But it must not only be about memorial lectures and, 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 and meetings like these ones. We must see buildings named after Sobuk. We must see Graf Renet town named after Robert Sobuk. We must see University of Forte named after Robert Sobuk. We must see Robben Island named after Robert Sobuk. Then we will preserve his legacy. It doesn't help to have a memorial lecture and to have a rally and a meeting and talk about them, and it ends there. So if it, it must get a meaning, big, big buildings, including this country's name, must be changed to Azania. And that's what Sobuko wanted. Thank you very, very much. That was the president of the PAC, Mr. Mzwanele Nyonso, uh, speaking there about the powerful legacy of Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe. Um, as he rightly said, he was deemed dangerous by the apartheid government, 
precisely for his teachings and his thought process and that which he managed to ignite within people, the thought that everyone could live as one here in South Africa. And as you heard from the president of the PAC saying, if uh, Robert Sabuque's teachings were implemented, they believe South Africa would be a much different country today, 29 years after democracy, than what it currently is.